Muhammad, the last messenger. So, I mean, after he talked to Muhammad, God was done talking to us. I guess, last messenger. I don't know. Uh, I don't really understand any of this, but I am curious. Hmm. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born in Mecca in the year 570, during the period of history Europeans called the Middle Ages. He was a direct descendant of Ishmael, the eldest son of Abraham. Okay. Maybe. Muhammad was orphaned at a young age and was a shepherd in his youth, kind of like King David and Moses. And, well, he wasn't in his youth, but um, yeah, a lot of that shepherd business going on. They always associate JC with being a shepherd, although. Yeah, it's a, I think it's just a metaphor by then. Mm. But this guy was a real deal. I mean, he was a goat herder or sheep herder or whatever. He had a lot of time on his hands. Uh. As he grew up, he became known for his truthfulness. Well, boy, that I find that so convincing, you know. Believe me. Cat was no. <laughs> As he grew up, he became known for his truthfulness, generosity, and sincerity, <laughs> earning the title Al Emin, the trustworthy one. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, anything's possible. I mean, Judas was the treasurer. The disciples, you know, the apostles, so trustworthy, you know, whatever that means. Hmm. I would say that you'd have a consistently honorable track record. I think that's good, you know. You Got to earn trust. At age 25... Mohammed married Khadija, an honorable and successful businesswoman. They were blessed with two boys and four girls. It was an ideal marriage, and they lived a happy family life. Oh, that's sweet. A very sweet version we're being given here. Mm. Muhammad was of a contemplative nature and had long detested the decadence and cruelty of his society. One of those. It became his habit to meditate from time to time in the cave of Hira near the summit of Jabal and Nur, the mountain of light on the outskirts of Mecca. 
All right, I got a question here. Is he the soul shepherd? Because he's like in a cave somewhere. I mean, who's watching his damn herd, his flock or whatever? What the flock? <laughs> He's in a cave somewhere daydreaming, meditating. You're fired, Mo. Saw, saw you, you know, screwing around in that cave again when we we're supposed to be watching you, watching the goats here. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just being a little picky there. It is a nice story, though. Um, at the age of 40, while engaged in a meditative retreat, hopefully not on the clock with, you know, the damn sheep or whatever, <laughs> or he had a backup shepherd for when he wants to contemplate his native navel or, you know, think about the clouds. <sighs> Muhammad received his first revelation from God through the angel Gabriel. Okay. I guess Moroni was busy, huh? That Gabriel, man, he's like a real messenger. This revelation continued for 23 years and is known as the Quran. And oh, there's more. Thought I was off the hook. All right. Muhammad began to share the revelations he received from God with the people of Mecca. They were idol worshipers and rejected Muhammad's call to worship only one God. I mean, really, I mean, we'll all have all the gods possible, just in case. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Pardon me. Couldn't be stopped. They opposed Muhammad and his followers in every way. These early Muslims suffered bitter persecution, so you should believe all this now. And, you know, they treated those Mormons kind of shitty too, didn't they? Of course, they did some shit back, but I, you know, if we weren't in like, you know, this, you know, bodlerized, uh, sanitized land right here, you know, um, I don't need to give you guys a history lesson. Everybody can look it up. Yeah. Pretty darn bloody. Yeah, they, the Mormons, the Muslim persecuted. Well, first opportunity, they sure persecute the shit out of other people. That's probably just human nature. <sighs> In 622, God gave the Muslim community the command to immigrate. Run away! Now, shades of the LDS again. This event, the Hijra, or migration, in which they left Mecca for the city of Medina, marks the beginning of the Muslim calendar. Medina provided Muhammad and the Muslims a safe and nurturing haven, in which the Muslim community grew. They make that sound like a good thing. Maybe it is from their point of view. From somebody's point of view, no doubt. And 
You're welcome to it. After several years, the prophet and his followers returned to Mecca and forgave their enemies. Then, turning their attention to the Kaaba, the sanctuary that Abraham built, they removed the idols and rededicated it to the worship of one God. Before the prophet died at the age of 63, ah, I'm 63 right now. I think I got him beat so far. All right. Uh, most of the people of Arabia had embraced his message. In less than a century, Islam had spread to Spain and the West and as far as China. And if you read a history book, you'll find out it wasn't all a miracle. And it certainly was not without a lot of blood and pain and terror. Yeah, just that old-time religion. Even if it was kind of a fairly recent version of the same old shit. Anyway, to be continued, and I'll chime in. I mean, this was an important section, so what do you think of that? Uh, anyone got anything else to say about Mo? You know, you know stuff be upon him or whatever? <laughs>